The next row allows you to select the output as improper fractions or mixed numbers. The options in the Answers row are Auto, Decimal, and Fraction. If you choose Auto, fractions with no decimal point will be displayed as fractions, and expressions with any occurrence of a decimal point will be displayed as decimals. You can also choose to have your answer displayed always as a decimal, or have the TI-84 plus C attempt an approximate or exact fraction result. Go to Second Format Graph is a shortcut to jump from the Mode screen to the Format screen. To enable this, you can choose Yes. The next row allows you to turn Stat Diagnostic on or off. This is a shortcut to the option of displaying R and R squared when calculating statistical regressions. The next row turns the Stat Wizards on or off. Stat Wizards are dialog boxes that prompt you for input or variable information for certain statistics commands, rather than using the home screen which requires you to know the required inputs and separate them by commas. When they're turned on, the wizards will automatically launch when you select the commands. The last row on this page allows you to set the date and time of the calculator. In this case, I have some trigonometry that I'm going to be entering into the calculator, and I'm also going to be using some very large numbers. So I'd like to change the calculator setting so that the angles are interpreted as degrees, and I would like the numbers to be displayed in scientific notation. I'm going to press the down arrow key to move my cursor to the normal setting. I'll press the right arrow key once to highlight SCI, which is the scientific notation setting in the mode menu. Notice that the cursor flashes over SCI, but normal is still highlighted. I'm going to move down to the lower right corner of the calculator, to the Enter button, and then I'll press Enter to select the scientific notation setting. Notice normal is no longer highlighted. It's difficult to tell whether I've actually made a selection while the cursor is still sitting on top of the highlighted selection, but you can look at the bar along the top of the screen and see that SCI is displayed in the upper left corner. I'm going to do that same thing for the Angles row, so I'm going to press the down arrow key once again, and I'm going to press the right arrow key so that I'm highlighting the degree setting. Again, I'm going to go to the lower right corner of the calculator and press the Enter key, and I'll see Degree appear along the top. Once I've made all of my selections in the Mode menu, I'm going to return to the Home screen so that I can continue to perform calculations. To return to the Home screen, I'm going to press the second key in the upper left corner of the main keypad area. Once I press second, notice that in the upper right corner of the screen, I get an up arrow, indicating that I've pressed the second key. Once I've pressed the second key, I'm going to press the Mode key, which will execute the blue command above it, which in this case is Quit. This returns me to the home screen, and now I can start performing calculations.